hack up uh, PRPC platform so let's get started uh, go ahead and uh, double click on this uh, play button for Pega PRPC platform and it should open a console window which will trigger all your required servers it will just run all the required services like tomcat and the sql server over the database server once it is started then go ahead and uh, just minimize it and uh, double click on the pega platform 4.7.4.0 uh, uh, login icon and it should ideally launch your uh, pega platform in uh, your default browser whether it is google chrome or internet explorer so whatever your default browser it will launch uh, in in that default browser so once pega window opens it will ask you for enter your credential so just enter the default credential which is administrator at the pega.com and the password is install install and just go ahead and hit to the login button so once you are logged in you will see this uh, designer window and our use case is like uh, we gonna build a kind of um, user uh, form wherein user gonna enter their information and uh, later on we'll utilize that information to add the customer in our CRM application uh, so to build, uh, since we know that Pega is totally a BPM tool and it is used to manage the cases. So here our cases is uh, a new customer information. So let's go ahead and go to the uh, Pega rules and choose new application. Once you click on the new application, you will see this window. So these are the uh, existing template. You can select if your application uh, is going to perform the similar kind of task. If not, then you can go ahead and just uh, select on uh, custom and then click on use this application type. Since our application gonna run on any kind of device, so I'm gonna select on the responsive. So it will run on the desktop, laptop, mobile, tablet, anything and this is a kind of color schema so that you can choose anything doesn't make any difference so i just clicked on the gen and now give a meaningful name to your application so i'm going to give a name of like uh, my app my app and in Pega PRPC, the entire uh, application structure work uh, in similar fashion uh, of like an organization structure. So in organization, we see uh, the entire organization is one organization and inside the organization, we will find uh, certain departments. Uh, those are called as divisions. Uh, and inside a division, we will uh, find certain units. So similarly, if you go ahead and just click on this advanced setting, you will find the same kind of structure here organization name division name and unit name so i'm going to give an organization name something like uh, in case or anything you want to choose it's up to you go ahead and click on create application <coughs> now pega would be building an application for you so it's going to take a little bit of time so be patient so now your application is ready and you can add certain operator id or you can say as a credential or kind of login details that person can log into this application which is my app so let's add uh, so this field uh, should be an email address format so i'm going to create uh, like admin at the rate uh, nks.com I believe this should work so now you can see this uh, administrator has been added and there is a password so let's note down this password
just note just take a note of your uh, credentials user id and password that we need to build our application now our application is ready but there is no functionality has been added uh, as of now so what we need to do as a next step to log out of the current uh, login which is a default administrator so or you can just click simply click on the log off once you are out now log in with this credential based on this credential Paga will automatically identify which application you should be logged in and which application you should be building now so I'm just gonna simply copy the user ID and copy the password there we go so once you are logged in it's gonna prompt you to change your password so just uh, enter the current password and the new one that I'm going to use as install the default one <coughs> that would be easy for me to remember copy paste paste change password so once you are logged in it's gonna load your application so there now we can see the name of the application it shows as uh, my app so based on your credential it will automatically recognize what uh, application you should be logged in and what application you should be building so once Pega is done loading your application I'll show you how to first change the password inside your uh, uh, inside the uh, Pega platform so go to the this your admin uh, button here and click on the operator and the other one is you can simply go to the designer go to organization securities and then choose organization and then operators so both way going to take you to the to, to the operator management uh, page so operator uh, ID is something which is your credential as I said earlier in Pega platform uh, your uh, credentials are uh, login IDs are called as an operator ID so now once you click on the operator it will display this window here you can add your title first name last name and the other details and if you want to change the password then go to the security and here you can click on the update password and simply change your password Pega is basically a case management tool so so what we need to do in the left hand side panel just click on the case type so as of now it's completely completely empty and we need to build a case uh, case structure so click on add a case type since uh, our use case is uh, like uh, customers are going to enter their information on the uh, on this UI or uh, the application and that uh, information we're going to utilize with the help of robot to add the customer inside our CRM application so uh, we're going to give a name of our uh, case type is uh, add customer add customer and click on submit so it will build a case
So once Pega is uh, done building your case type, you can see that case type under the case type and the left side, left hand side panel here. Just, just uh, double click on that. It will load your case in the designer panel. Once it will open your case in the designer panel, click on the workflow and scroll a bit down and click on the add life cycle. and give a name which is add customer and click on the process step And the process step is our collect information since we are going to ask the customer to enter their information. So we'll collect that information. Now enter the step, step name, which is in our case is collect information. We do not have multiple steps, so we're going to add only one step here. And click on Configure View. So in this one step of collecting information, we're going to add the number of fields that we want to have the customer uh, supply the information for. So first one is uh, since we're going to utilize this information for CRM uh, customer adding. So I'm going to have it as a CRM and it would be a single text, uh, single line text. And the second one is uh, I'm going to ask for the first name. first name and that's also a single line text and the last name address city <coughs> state and zip And the last one is zip code. That's it. This much of information I'm going to collect. So if any of the fields you want to change the data type, you can go to this little uh, drop down window and you can select any data type that suits uh, you, uh, your field type. Now scroll a bit down and scroll to the right and click on the submit button. So this will build your application now. Now inside the application we have a case type as well which is add customer. So it's gonna collect the customer information. So now our application is ready and to see how this application gonna look like uh, to the end customer simply go ahead and click on the launch web interface and choose case manager. Uh, once it opens, you can add a new case by clicking on this plus symbol, new. Uh, sorry. Click on the new. And you can simply enter the information about the customer and click on the done. It will submit uh, this particular case on our application. So now we need to make certain changes uh, to utilize or access this uh, application in our robot in between RPA or RDA, we can access this application information in robot through the APIs, through the REST APIs. So now, what changes we need to make is 
inside the application. Now we need to go to the application. So there we go. We can see our application and this is the hierarchy. This is the organization. Inside the organization, we have our application, which is a department, then work. And inside the work, we have add customer. So if you click on this uh, expand button, it will expand everything. Now go to the process. And inside the process, choose flow action. and click on collect information since we have only one step in this particular application uh, to collect the all the information and it's just only one page and we want our uh, robot to perform the next activity which is adding the customer inside our CRM application that is after entering all the information so robot can uh, do the activity or perform the certain action even before uh, customer enter the information or after the customer enter the information so if you go to the action so action could be performed uh, I mean the robot can perform the action before the information is being entered and after the information or post in our processing which is after the information is being entered since we want our robot to run once the information is entered so that would be considered as post processing activity so we need to give the robot activity identity here which is uh, we can have like uh, add customer or collect information or anything we can give a name that name we're going to utilize inside our uh, robot so it's uh, or get customer information is I believe better get customer info so that's the activity name we're gonna add it and save that is here on the top so this is all about uh, building our first application and adding a robot activity to our uh, flow action for the uh, application to consume this application's API and interact in the backend only, to the backend. Uh, we can utilize this robot activity to communicate with the RPA bot or RDA bot that we're going to learn in the next session, uh, in the next tutorial. So that's in in this tutorial so so far have we have learned how to build uh, an application using Pega PRPC or a user interface using Pega PRPC uh, and how we're going to communicate with the our robot uh, whether it is RP or RDA that we're going to learn in the next session so thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial